Hey, what's up, guys? Camp and Rusher here. Make sure to touch that like button in the next three seconds just because you want to. No, I know that's not going to work. <laughs> I know I got to write the new trend on YouTube is to bribe you guys or, or scare you in, in, into, into liking the video. So there you go. Like the video and uh, you'll get to meet this cute little guy one day. I threw a cat on there for all you non-dog lovers. I've been using the dog. I'm not even a cat lover, but man, that is a cute kitten. I hope. I've actually put it in uh, while well, I'm editing, so I haven't actually seen it while I'm filming. I'm sure it will be cute. Thanks for tuning in. These intros are getting weirder and weirder. Sorry, it's uh, you guys are supporting like crazy, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep doing it. Use code TheCampinRusher if you want to support me in the item shop when you're purchasing new skins. Let's jump right into it. There's a lot of stuff to talk about today regarding Fortnite news. First off, the rocket has reached stage three. Uh, as usual, I'm just going to keep you updated every video of where this rocket is at. Remember, there are five total stages uh, that, that we know of in the files. So this should be done after five. This is three of five. And uh, from there, we're not too sure. We are going to talk about some event stuff at the very end of the video. So make sure you stick around uh, because someone has dove deep into a, an event theory. And I'm really liking the sound of it. And, and so are a lot of other people. Fortnite just tweeted recently, we have discovered an issue with FNCS placements while slotting teams into heats. This has resulted in a few qualified teams being outright missing from our initial FNCS finals list. We are working to correct this and should have a final team and heat list available soon. Please be aware that this means teams may shift heats or no longer qualify once we have corrected the placements issue. We are extremely sorry for the inconvenience that this has caused. And uh, just a small update. Obviously, this doesn't affect much of our, uh, most of us. But man, would that be sad if you were placed into the heats, right? The heat, this, it's this weekend, the FNCS, by the way. Finals, lot, $10 million on the line. Uh, it, it's split into division. It's not a land. So it's still EU, NA West, NA East specific. So it's, it, it's going to be similar to what we've been used to watching over the past five weeks, except a ton more money on the line. And, uh, and I think that just always makes it more exciting to, to watch and play, I'm sure, too. Uh, but yeah, just think, you, you thought you qualified, you're in the heat, you're looking at your competitors, and then you see a tweet like this and you find out you were that, that 100th uh, person or 99th team and they made a mistake and you get booted out. Super, super unfortunate for the people uh, that this mistake affects. And uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep you updated once we know more about the competitive. Remember, there's probably going to be a huge competitive update after uh, this this weekend's FNCS. Uh, they tend to announce things, uh, announce competitive or the future of competitive after a big uh, event wraps up, similar uh, to the FNCS being announced when the World Cup um, w w was done. And last thing I'll mention about updates, we still at this point do not know when 10.31 is going to be. It, it could be, if, if it comes out after post this video, it could be tomorrow morning. It's not looking like it right now because it hasn't been announced. So it'll probably be the next morning, uh, Thursday morning. And that is going to be downtime. There's going to be leaks. It's it's kind of a medium update, right? 0.31 rather than a 0.4 content update. Okay, moving on. Sorry, lot, lots to discuss there. Metro. Uh, in competitive news, Metro, who is a part of uh, arguably the best trio in Fortnite right right now, based on their 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 placements. Uh, Metro, Mongrel, and, and Benji, of course, have placed on average 1.4 in all five of the FNCS weeks. So first, first, second, first, 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 second, second uh, was their placements. There was this big uh, hashtag going around yesterday saying hashtag free Metro. And it was to do with the org he is with, Team Atlantis. Apparently, Team Atlantis and Metro have a pretty one-sided contract, similar to the FaZe and Tifu incident, and, and I'm sure similar to so many incidents that, that, that are out there, right? Similar situations where uh, good players, especially young players, I think Metro's 14, they start out early, they get a contract put in front of them, and these organizations take advantage of, uh, of, of these people not having any legal bra background, any any background at all, is even dealing with a contract, right? Can barely, I'm sure, I, I still have tr trouble reading these contracts. And I'm a, I'm a business student and, and 22 years old. I, it's still tough for me to read some of these words, and it should be. So I can't imagine a 14-year-old kid, right? Um, so that it's a huge problem going on right now, and Mitro's just another big name that this uh, the, that's been brought to light here. 
So here is his response. I first want to start by saying thank you to my family and friends for their support since the beginning of my career. When I first signed with Atlantis back in June 2018, I had no idea that I would be where I am today. I want to thank Atlantis for taking a chance and signing me, signing me since then. A lot has changed. The game, the community, and competitive are completely different than when I signed. Last night, I was just as shocked as everyone else at what happened with Free Metro. A lot of the claims being made about my contract are far from the truth and exaggerated. I cannot go into the specifics of my contract, but I can say in September 2018, I signed my final contract with Atlantis, which included a salary raise in January 2019. At that point, I was happy with the terms. Over time, that has changed and I outgrew Atlantis. I let Atlantis know in January 2019 that I was ready to move on to a larger org. Team Atlantis and I tried to come to various solutions since then, but none of them have ended up working. So I decided to wait for my contract to end and find a new org as a free agent. After talking with Atlantis management today, it was mutually agreed that Atlantis would release me after the FNCS. I wish Atlantis, their staff, and all of their players nothing but the best moving forward. Metro and agent, that Brianna lady. So I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure most of that is from the agent, right? That seemed uh, pretty well put together. So basically, because of all the back, this is what I'm getting from it, because of all the backlash, Atlantis has agreed to, uh, to let Metro go after this big potential money-making event and as long as Metro said some nice things about Atlantis in his statement, which he did. I bet I, that's my bet of how it went down. Uh, obviously, there, there, there could be some, something wrong with that. That's just an assumption. But either way, looks like it worked out. Mitro's getting a better contract once and for all. Who's going to get him, though? TSM or FaZe or somebody else? Because uh, he's going to be worth a lot of money the way those guys are playing. Uh, Kale Smith here, uh, who Epic Games employ. Just a quick update on the Epic Games Store. They've added a new feature. I know there's a lot of backlash against the Epic Games Store, but it kind of counts with Fortnite updates, so I'll, I'll, I'll let you know about it. They've re released a, a better library uh, uh, browse feature, and they, they continue to have a bunch more plans in place for, for the next year or so of just a bunch of new things being added that are that are better for the, the store in general, and this is the first one of those things. So trying to make it a bit more user-friendly. And I don't know, what are your opinions on the Epic Games Store? There's so much debate uh, I see on Reddit specifically uh, about that. Moving on, uh, the PS4 Plus or PlayStation Plus Celebration Pack is live. So if you have a PlayStation 4, if you have Plus, uh, you get these free items. Uh, Pneumatic Twin Pickaxe, Radiant Blue Wrap, Flail Emoji, and One Banner. Sorry the quality of that image is a little low. Uh, that's the best I got. It should have released today in, in the U.S. That's what Fire Monkey said. So, yeah, enjoy your four free items if you're a PlayStation Plus member. Moving on, big leaks last night. Thanks to, I believe, uh, it was uh, Silo or, or Sp Spadicey1. In case you missed it, new leaked Area 51 and Love Ranger female skins. Uh, yeah, encrypted skins that, that were found in the files. <laughs> Okay, they both look awesome. Remember, and I've been doing this lately because you guys may remember when you're gonna buy those skins, especially Alien. Alien, think Code the Camp and Rusher. <laughs> Try to associate a cool skin with the the code, and, and remember seven times the amount of you guys when I did this last time, typed in my code. So again, I'm gonna use tactics that were successful in the past. Thanks for the support, by the way. But that Alien skin is hilarious, man. It's Mike Wazowski is the is the vibe I'm getting from Monster Inc. <laughs> right i will definitely be buying that this is ahead of the the area 51 meme right storming it i be, i think that's coming up like this weekend even though it was uh, officially canceled for, from the organizer but uh, i'm glad they made a skin for it why, why wouldn't they uh try and capitalize on that and something else to point out the area 51 skin is wearing yeezys uh this is a, a bad photo but it's just a zoomed in version of the highest quality we have and yeah it <laughs> He's wearing Yeezys, man. So just keeping up with the trend. I like it epic. And on top of that, very exciting alien POI leak. According to the in development files, we gained access to in V10.2. A house under the name of House Traveler's House will be taking over John Wick's house over in the desert. Uh, so again, I assume that's coming with tonight's update. 
and I and and everyone's wondering like why why are they doing a point three one? Why aren't they doing just the content update? Uh, the reason they do it this way is usually to 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 hide something, right? They wanted to hide something this week, so they 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 couldn't just do a content update this week because then there'd be no downtime, and then they would have had to reveal this this secret last week in ten point three. So that's so I don't know if this is what they were trying to hide. It, there, there's probably a bit more than this, I assume, but maybe this is one of them. So expect some type of alien POI, the Traveler's House, uh, to, to, to be in there soon and, and possibly this upcoming update. Finally here, last bit of news before we, we end today's video. This is to do with the event and it's a big theory, so I'm going to rip through it quickly. Start here. Yesterday, the timed a meteoric rise challenges unlocked to earn the scientist. Interestingly, these challenges seem to expire right when season X ends. What's special about it is that the challenges give us a countdown for season X's ending, which ends on Sunday, October 6th at 18 or at 8 p.m. Uh, Epic also confirms this end date on their FAQ page to be October 6th. So it's ending on a Sunday, but this is special because all previous seasons, as he illustrates here, have, e have ended on Thursdays. Every single one until this season, right? Until season 11, season X and season level start. A couple months ago, Epic released a competitive blog post talking about the state of development and the game's evolution, where they stated that weekends are the ideal time for the largest number of players to be able to experience special one-time moments, right? We talked about that. Season X is the first ever to end on a weekend. In addition to that, the Rise countdown ends at 8 p.m., which is the exact time where live events generally happen. Nothing else ever happens in Fortnite around these times. No new seasons, challenges, item shops, nothing only live events. New seasons always kick off around 10 to 11 a.m., but apparently not this time. Season X is believed to be a last ride farewell season to our current map. As we, we've talked about, new POIs have come out. It looks like there's going to be a brand new map for season 11. If this is our last season on the island, then it seems like Epic is trying to go all out with a bang in form of a massive live event before season 11's launch, potentially destroying the map right before downtime. To make sure everyone gets to witness the one-time event, Epic has scheduled the new seasons to start on Sunday rather than Tuesday. And that was the post. And again, uh, it's got some decent traction here on Reddit. And what are your thoughts on this? Is it crazy talk? Is he on to something? Let me know in the comment section down below. I think he's on to something, especially because they have confirmed the end date on their on their FAQ, right? Frequently Asked Questions page. So it, it's not a mistake, which we've seen some countdown mistakes in the past. Uh, so yeah, something's, something's fishy here and usually if there's a big change uh, from a pattern that we've been used to with Epic, th there's, a, there's a good reason for it. So I'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching everybody. Touch that like button on your way out. Subscribe to the channel and code the camp and rusher.